Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I want to talk about the 1989 film The Laughing Dead. This is an S.P. Sumtau movie. Uh, his full name is Sumtau Sukaratikul. Sukaratikul. Not going to try again. So anyway, the the main premise of this film, and I've watched it a couple times on, I think it was YouTube, in full, and then I liked it enough, it grew on me, to pick it up on Blu-ray. The main premise of the film is there's a busload of people going to Mexico for a... It's not archaeological, it's almost like a spiritual retreat, and on the bus is like this jokester, this other guy, uh, this woman and her husband who are very spiritual and do like meditation, and a priest who is losing his faith, and this ex-nun, and that part of it kind of ties into the story as well in a big way. And at the very beginning of the film, not really spoiling much because the first couple of minutes in, there is a sacrifice in Mexico of a little girl that gets purchased from her family. And it all ties in. There's someone in Mexico that meets up with these bus, uh, this bus load of people and are looking to manipulate one of the bus travelers, I don't know if that's a term, one of the bus travelers to, um, get this evil, like, God and resurrect an evil God inside of them. Uh, to do that, they have to go through this spiritual thing and also they have to meet these certain requirements. That's kind of the gist of the film. Meanwhile, people in the bus group are getting killed. Um, you know, a little graphic, but the special effects are cheesy, so it sort of has that, like, fun but horror aspect to it. So if you like comedy horror, I would think you would probably like The Laughing Dead. There's people getting their heads chopped off and their hearts ripped out. There's a little bit of nudity, so on, like, the front cover, there's this woman here with her chest ripped open, looks like pulling her heart out or something. That's in the film. Uh, this woman gets topless, and at one point she rips her own heart out, and then, if I remember correctly, she switches hearts with someone else. And um, a lot of the special effects look a little silly. There's a lot of what looks like styrofoam or, you know, sets. You can tell that a lot of it was low budget, but it's a fun movie. And I think initially when I first saw this film, I wasn't paying enough attention to it, but I knew I sort of would have liked it had I paid more attention. So on each watch, I would sort of pay more attention and get a little more out of it. Um, there's a kid in the movie who is um, the ex-nun's son. And he has a mouth like a truck driver. So he just curses every few minutes. And it's pretty damn funny. He says things he shouldn't and does things he shouldn't. And just goes off, just completely curses at everything. Um, my friend Jason from Pop Retro 1, you may know his YouTube channel, had reviewed this and really got a kick out of it. And I just watched it again tonight, and I got a kick out of it at, at certain points. I definitely thought the, the name The Laughing Dead is very apropos because it's horror, but there's a lot of comedy and, you know, B kind of color thrown into it that it's more of a goofy fun fair than it is a horror movie. Um, there is like a little adventure or storyline the main characters are on to try and accomplish. There are some horror elements. By the end, there are some pretty decent special effects with blood and eyes exploding and people turning into monsters and stuff. But overall, it has a very goofy premise for a horror film. It feels like a very silly movie. Um, I like The Laughing Dead. I think it's sort of an under-the-radar type of release from Vinegar Syndrome. It looked very good. I think they remastered it very well. Uh, it says here that it was scanned from the into 4K and restored from its 35mm camera negative. A commentary, excuse, excuse me, <clears throat> commentary track with writer, director, producer, uh, S.P. Somtau, Unholy Assembly, the crafting of the Laughing Dead, an extended making of documentary, uh, reversible cover art, English subtitles, and then uh, that's about it. 
But overall, I enjoyed this. I think that if I got it with the slip cover, which is down in my in my basement, kind of on the uh, on the DVD rack, you know, for show. But I got it for 15 bucks with free shipping from a friend on Facebook. I think it's worth that. If you were to start spending in the 20s for this, you might feel a little like, eh. But it's a silly, fun B-movie. If you don't want to spend the money, you could definitely find it YouTube or other places online to watch, I'm sure. Um, but it's, again, one of those movies I had never heard of that I was very happy that Vinegar Syndrome put out something that sounded interesting, that piqued my interest, and uh, I eventually picked up. So let me know, guys, what you thought of The Laughing Dead. This is one of those movies that most people who order it from Vinegar Syndrome don't seem to like that much, but I thought it was a uh, pretty fun fair. So I enjoyed it, and I, I like Pop Retro 1, or Pop Retro on YouTube. Uh, I would recommend it for comedy horror fans, um, you know, with some silliness involved. Thank you guys for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.